Hi, I'm Jacques Pepin, and I'm cooking at home. So what I'm doing today is a chicken in vegetable and cream sauce. Yesterday, I had a Cornish hen that I roasted all like this, and my wife and I tend to like the leg more. So we ate the leg and the wing. So I have those two breasts here, and I'm going to do just like a chicken pot pie, except they, I'm not going to put the dough on top of it. So we started with the carrot. The carrot should cook first for like two, three minutes. I have a piece of onion here that will go into it. Also, we used to do that at Howard Johnson. I remember I would have tiny boiled onion, but I don't have it, so I onion this way. I have one mushroom that I find in my refrigerator, so I'm going to use it too. Here, yeah. Okay, so that all of the garnish. And I have some frozen peas here, defrosting. I will thicken the sauce here with a little bit of corn, uh, potato starch, actually. Potato starch is better than corn starch. Corn starch tends to be too gooey. Conventionally, you melt butter, you add uh, uh, flour to it, and you do a roux to do the stock. Here I'm going in a simpler way. One teaspoon of that starch here and about a tablespoon of water with, uh, yeah, that's it. That will be enough to thicken this. Now my carrot have been cooked. So let me add this. You could, if you want to use chicken stock instead of water, or put a little bit of, uh, you know, chicken paste here to make a stock. I have salt in there. This is ready. This, so my chicken, here yeah, I'm going to take the skin out of it the bone. Yeah, we tend at the house to use the dark meat we like better. This is not a leftover dish. The word leftover often has bad connotation. People say it's leftover. No. Often because you have that type of chicken, if you want to reheat it to serve it the same way you did it before, it probably won't work, won't be as good. But if you do something else with it, as I said, Howard Johnson, we used to cook the breast of chicken and uh, add them to the sauce. So here, I put that into large pieces like this. Okay, here, here, here. I think I'm going to add the peas in there. And probably my, remember I had a cup of water, but that cup of water, by the time it boiled for a couple of minutes now, is probably reduced to like three quarter of a cup. Let me see the carrot. Mm. Nice and crunchy, but cooked enough. So I have the starch, it's already diluted with water or any type of liquid, wine or whatever. And the beauty of that potato starch, it thickens on contact. As soon as I put it in there, it thickens. We know exactly where you stand. So you could have more than that. You pour whatever you want and stir it and see how thick it gets. Stir the rest of it. A quarter of a cup of... Uh, cream here, maybe not even, like three tablespoons. And that's what I'm going to do for my cream sauce. As you can see here, beautiful cream sauce. My chicken, bring that to a boil in there. I'm going to put some pepper here. Dash of salt. And basically that's it. I warm up my chicken. And I have it there. You no, know, the interesting part is that people say, oh my God, oh, that cream is rich. Actually, no. I'm not going to tell you that it's a low calorie dish, but I have no butter. I have no oil. One tablespoon of oil is 130 calories. I had like three or four tablespoons of cream here. 50 calories each, so it's 200 calories. The rest is water, carrot, the thing. So it may be 300 calories at the most for two people. So it's about the... the, the the amount of what you have with two cookies. So this is it. And here, as you can see here, I have two portions here. You can have a little bit of rice with it or whatever. Beautiful dish done with leftover, but it is not leftover food. This is the chicken in cream and vegetable. Happy cooking.